An audiogram is a graph used during a hearing assessment. It is designed to determine your hearing threshold in your left and right ears. This is done by comparing your ears to how high you are experiencing the frequency and the sound levels. There are two key components of the audiogram used to determine your hearing threshold. First, we have the frequency. The frequency is measured from left to right in hertz, from the deepest frequency to the highest frequency. Next, we have our hearing levels. Our hearing levels are measured in decibels, from the quietest at the top to the loudest at the bottom. Using these two components, we are able to pinpoint your hearing into one of five levels of hearing loss. At normal, hearing levels will range from 0 to 20 decibels, and you'll have no difficulty hearing speech in a noisy environment. At mild, hearing levels will range from 20 to 40 decibels, and you may have some difficulty hearing speech in a noisy environment. At moderate, hearing levels will range from 40 to 70 decibels. If you reach this level, hearing speech in a noisy environment or at gatherings is often difficult and you may find yourself asking people to repeat themselves. At severe, the hearing levels will then be 70 to 90 decibels. If your hearing is at this level, it is very difficult to hear in most environments or gatherings and you may find yourself seeking quieter environments to hear speech. Finally, at profound, hearing levels will be at 90 to 120 decibels. Here it is extremely difficult to hear most forms of communication in any sort of environment, and you may need to use a visual aid such as sign language or lip reading to hear what is being said from others. The crosses and circles on the audiogram represent your ears. The cross represents your left ear and the circle represents your right ear. They are both colored to help you see where they fall on the audiogram more clearly, with your left ear being in blue and your right ear being in red. With these units, we are able to pinpoint on the audiogram your hearing threshold and where you are experiencing hearing loss from normal to profound in both your left or right ears and determine if you may be experiencing hearing loss greater in your left ear, right, or both. Additionally, sometimes you may see on your audiogram a bracket symbol or a hatch symbol colored either red or blue. These symbols represent a bone conduction test in your left and right ear. This is done by vibrating sound through your outer ear and your middle ear directly into your cochlea. The speech zone is the area of the audiogram that uses nearly all of the alphabet to determine how loud or how soft your ears can perceive speech. As an example, vowels such as A, E, I, O, and U would fall on the left side as they are usually softer when being heard. The consonants, however, are usually perceived as much higher in the speech zone and therefore would appear on the right side. This is also applied to combined letters such as SH or CH forming the sounds SH or CH. Additionally, you can find examples of this in words like shovel or chicken. Typically, we associate the speech zone from male to female voices. Male voices usually lean towards the left, as their voices are much deeper than female voices, who normally have higher voices, and therefore would appear on the right, along with children who have higher speech tones at younger ages. From understanding the speech zone and conducting the test battery, 
which includes the air conduction test, the tympanometry test or air pressure test, the bone conduction test, and the acoustic reflex test, a tune is able to give an accurate audiological evaluation using a test battery which will determine a number of components of your hearing threshold. From this, we are able to determine the degree and type of hearing loss, identify the location of the lesion within the auditory system producing the problem, help to establish the cause of the hearing loss, and estimate the extent of the communication impairment and recommend appropriate treatment. Appropriate treatment might be a referral through your general practitioner or GP, a recommendation to your ear, nose and throat specialist, or a discussion around hearing rehabilitation with the prescription of a hearing device. Once we have viewed your audiogram after your assessment and have given your audiological evaluation, we are then able to determine if you are having hearing difficulty. You may have one of three possible hearing loss types, such as a conductive hearing loss, which occurs when there is an issue in the ear canal or the middle ear, such as a blockage, a sensory neural hearing loss, which can occur when issues arise with the cochlear or hearing nerve, or a mixed hearing loss, which can occur from a combination of the middle ear, the cochlear, or the hearing nerve. A key component of a tune's reporting process is the fact that your audiological report with recommendations is sent to your GP within 24 hours of your test. This process is important as not all hearing losses result in rehabilitation or in other words, a hearing aid. Your GP may then take those results and refer you through a number of other channels which may include an ear, nose and throat specialist. If you have an audiogram and would like to know more, please call us on 1300 736 702 and our tune audiologist who tested you will be able to explain it further to you over the phone. Coincidentally, if you have never had a hearing test before and wish to understand your hearing levels, you may do so by booking an appointment through a tune with one of our qualified audiologists who are university trained. If you gain a referral through your general practitioner or a local doctor, for example, you will also be eligible for a Medicare rebate, which means that the price of your hearing test will be reduced. If you are simply looking for a second opinion about your hearing test levels, you may also book an appointment by calling the number provided or visit our website at www.attune.com.au. Attune is the only audiology company in Australia to be QIP accredited through the National Safety and Quality Health Service Standards, which also covers the vast majority of GPs in Australia, which gives you assurance in an unregulated industry.